today. So they have my induction. I'm freaking out. I can't tell if I'm nauseous because I'm freaking out or if there's something wrong with me. So I'm eating a piece of toast. <laughs> Drinking some coffee because it's about to be a long day. Best case scenario, either way, a long day. <sighs> Just losing it. I'm determined to have a positive attitude going in. But I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm very nervous and I'm freaking out. So I don't wanna keep crying. I cried a lot last night putting Olivia down. By the time she wakes up, we'll be gone. So I have like 30 minutes to shower, eat, calm down. And head out the door i also want to take my blood pressure because i feel like i'm like particularly swollen i hope it's just like nerves and not anything else i probably shouldn't be drinking coffee but i have to welcome to the birth vlog okay we got here like 30 minutes ago i have to shower again i'm just getting the rest of our stuff from the car they're about to start my iv which i literally can't even think about for too long because it gives me like the heavy jeebies like i get so um, but yeah, I'm freaking out. Like last time, I had to go to triage first because my water had broken. And since this is an induction, we're already in the delivery room. So it just feels so odd, like seeing the baby stuff and the bed and all. I don't know, it's just crazy. Wish you luck. Oh. Not much has happened. I have these little things on me. Apparently I had a contraction. Maybe I'm having another one, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, we haven't even put my IV or anything. They're changing shifts. They just checked me though, and I'm at a four. Hopefully it's just Pitocin and my water breaks on its own. And all of those supplements that I've been taking work. Uh, that one. I'm gonna eat something on the 7 a.m. because I don't wanna wait until it's too late. Okay, I'm on well. That they did my IV, which is my least favorite thing in the world. The first one didn't work and it hurts so fucking bad. Like, I don't want to tell her, but that it hurts so bad. The second one worked though. Do you know where they put Allison? They put it right here. Anyway, I'm fine. I'm just nauseous. But they said, I'm having contractions. Can you show them the monitor? I can't really feel them, but they're like probably five minutes apart. They're monitoring his heartbeat because. It was kind of low, and then they're gonna start the Pitocin after they like see that it regulated. Okay, I'm here to be an epidural influencer. I want a brand deal with the people that make the epidurals because they are so stunning. Like, 10 out of 10 work. I'll just stop recording because he gets embarrassed. Anyway, I got my epidural at like noon. Then they put the Foley balloon or whatever it's called that one the catheter basically. They checked me and I was like at a six. So they just broke my water. And it's one what time is it? One thirteen. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. Drinking Gatorade. And I think I'm gonna take it out. So keep you updated. See y'all later. on holding it. It's 420. They checked me at 3 and I was at an 8. There was like an issue with my epidural. Funny enough. It wasn't an issue, okay? Like there was just blood there. So they had to like switch it or change the... What did she say? The site? The yeah. epidural site? Change something. God, I can't believe I can't think of it. Anyway, point is that was result. I'm at an 8. I was like on one leg for a while. My legs are so swollen, it's like not even funny. Y'all, this, I'm gonna link it. I swear to God, everyone needs one of these. I know it was one of my best sellers, like for Christmas, but like, I'm about to get it for everyone in my life. Oh my God, I need to get it for Courtney Young. So she's the only one that's left to give birth. Game changer, because it doubles as a sleeping mask, but it's cooling and it just feels so good, like the pressure. And the other thing, I know that they don't let you eat. Can I have them? from Trader Joe's. I've been like quite nauseous and like 10 out of 10. So that's my update. Not much has happened. I mean, kind of, but not really. My contractions have like slowed down in intensity, I guess, but they're still two minutes apart. So she's gonna, she sat me down. Can you like go out a little more? She sat me down like this and we're just gonna wait. 
to place your bets on a time. Not that things is gonna be like what six? At the moment, maybe eight. You said three hours. I mean, I thought at the moment, but I'm no I doctor. I think it's six. Mm. Nothing would, because I'm hungry. Anyway, stay tuned. Yeah. I'll be eating my olives, thinking of a like thick espresso martini. Okay. Or a margarita. Oh, should we make time and bring us alcohol? No. I don't think you can. <laughs> no, we have to take care of a baby. Yeah. Okay, bye. 30 minutes after that last clip, the midwife that had been checking me throughout the day comes to check me and she tells me that I'm 10 centimeters, that she can literally feel his head like right there and that my OB will most likely not make it. She was too far. She thought the induction process would take me much longer. Midwife would be delivering the baby. I kind of freaked out when she said this. I was not familiar with midwives before this and in hindsight, it was the biggest blessing and I will talk about it in a second, but she coached me through the entire thing and and she was kind of guiding me through how she could make this like better than my last labor. Two of my main concerns were me not being able to push effectively. It took me so long and so much strength to push Olivia out. I'll link my birth blog below. I don't want to be too repetitive. This is not Olivia's birth blog, but it was so different from my first labor. She asked me what I wanted to do differently. I was like, I had a really hard time pushing. I had to be put on oxygen and I had a second degree tear. I was incredibly swollen because I wasn't pushing right, blah, blah. When she asked me if I want a mirror, I was freaking out. I was like, absolutely not. I don't want to say that <laughs> but i agreed and it was the best thing she could have recommended at this point it's just the midwife dante and i and my nurse my midwife asked me if i wanted to do like a practice push just so i could like visualize if it was effective as soon as i did that they start prepping everything they start like moving like two times the speed because they were like this is gonna take you five minutes we don't have time to do anything else so i was like what are you talking about <laughs> And I could see his head. I could see his hair. It was crazy. So from the time that I practiced push to the time that he was out, it literally took like maybe five pushes, maybe a little more. And y'all like literally 10 minutes. I was so shocked. I couldn't believe it. So this is like the moment he comes out. Okay. Push, baby, push. Deep breath, deep breath. Come on, baby. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, my God. You did it. Mommy, you did it. You did it. You did it. Congratulations. Amazing. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
catch up of how everything followed after that crazy quick turn of events i'm still pretty shocked about it it literally feels like a fever dream three days postpartum today at five and i'm just still unable to process how quick everything went easy like there's nothing easy about you know the process of labor no matter how you do it but compared to my first one this felt like a breeze and recovery has felt so much different that it just feels like it was like a month ago and not three days ago i wanted to share olivia meeting meeting him for the first time it was so special and so sweet i'm just warning y'all there's like a lot of chaos in the videos because my family was here and you just hear like a ton of voices and spanish and english and all this stuff i'm gonna insert those clips now and then we'll keep chatting So it was like everything and more. I will say it's been kind of difficult navigating everything with her because she is very excited about baby brother. She's very happy about it, but she's definitely lashing out at us more than at him because of having to share his attention i can't really like hold her right now but i we've been trying to include her in a ton of things so i guess i'll talk about that later on once we navigate through that i wanted to talk about his name because i posted his his name announcement yesterday on instagram a lot of people like months ago when i did like a question box on instagram guess either mateo or luca okay people like no, I'm predictable at best and I choose from like very popular names but this is actually fun fact <laughs> a family name on my dad's side it's technically Lucas so my paternal great-grandfather his name was Lucas a ton of like cousins and uncles on my dad's side that I personally don't have a relationship with and neither does he their name Lucas so I thought 
long time ago when we didn't know Olivia's gender that my dad wouldn't want us to use that name but he was like pretty happy that we're kind of like honoring his grandfather um, who passed away really young and who basically raised him so it was like really sweet to get to do that because it was honestly one of the only names that I liked and then his middle name is Santiago because that is the name that my husband wanted to name him I really like it for him and it really matches his little face and yeah y'all I can't believe he ended up being seven pounds 13 ounces that's only one ounce off from olivia and if, if you guys have been keeping up with me on social media you'll know that at 34 weeks they finally told us that he averaged out because for i think three months he was in the 12th percentile for weight just like his measurements were really really low and i was freaking out for a really long time so the fact that he knocked on the wood once again is completely healthy and his um, weight was perfect and just it just I'm I'm so excited towards the end of the pregnancy I was really in a dark phase <laughs> mentally and physically so I feel like I really put myself in this hole where I was like I'm never doing this again seeing how everything turned out and yeah I'm speaking pretty pretty soon I guess I still have a lot of harder stages to experience but labor being so easy and just seeing how everything has been going recovery wise like i think i would do it one more time but like i said i'm speaking a little soon so we'll see but yeah i think that's everything i'm so excited to share this with y'all i can't wait to see y'all's comments more of my cutie patootie it's a red little boy <laughs> look at him let me show you look at that little can y'all believe I made this? Look at that. Uh oh. Okay, okay, okay. Just, I'm obsessed. Just can't believe I've made two cutie, cutie babies. That is everything I have for y'all today. I cannot believe I get to, you know, watch this back like I did with Olivia's and have all this footage and share them with y'all. It's just so special to share all these seasons of life with y'all. So thank you for being here. Thank you for all the support and the love and the comments that y'all left me when I was like in such a dark, dark mental health space back in like December. Um, I truly feel like y'all's comments really helped me like ease my mind. And that's why uh, I was able to like keep going for so long. So I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys very soon in my next one. Bye bye.